Video Productions. What's up, YouTube? Alright, so I am making an updated video, or another updated video, on my EDC. As my EDC has changed, it's now summertime. Um, so let's just start this off. Um, now this is just a hat. I say EDC. Hey, I wear this hat every day now. This has been my worn this hat for months so yeah I mean that's part of my carry I carry it on my head still got my little duck commander uh, my little duck commander light there works okay but you know it sometimes I need it um, better than that is I'm still using my Olight uh, right here uh, this is something I also whenever this little duck commander don't do the trick uh, one cool thing about these O lights is, uh, you know, put that right there, and that's better than any little headband light you can get. I love that setup right there, and this is a really, really bright light. So O light, very good for EDC. New stuff with the gun, not carrying the the Shield 9 anymore. This is a Smith and Wesson 40. I have uh, doesn't have a mag in it, and it's clear. Um, I got a new holster, well, I got a holster for it. This is the Stealth Gear. Uh, I'm not sure which particular, I think it's a Vent Core, that's right. Stealth Gear Vent Core. So, if you watch my other EDC video, I now know the holster I'm using. This is a much higher quality uh, holster, Vent Core, because it, you know, it ventilates. It's not all sweating, making your body sweat all over next to it. It's actually really, really comfortable. The retention on it is really good, sometimes too good, in fact, it's actually sometimes hard to draw, so you might have to adjust these little screws a little bit to kind of make that better. Alright, sorry about that little interruption, UPS came in banging on my door, thought it was the police. <laughs> Alright, so moving on, I have this uh, Silver Stag Scout Carry Knife, um, so it's a little scuffed up already. Uh, I did a review on this, so if you want to know more about this, you can just check out that video. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. But this is, uh, yeah, this is my everyday carry knife. This is really good. Made in USA. Made in Washington. Uh, Washington State. This is a really good knife. I pretty much switch scout carry knives every so often. I, I kind of try to stick to only getting scout carry because I just like carrying it behind my back. Uh, you know, put it uh, through your belt loop there and... Uh, it's out of sight, out of mind, it's out of the way, it doesn't bug me. I don't like carrying, uh, I guess, vertical uh, carry type knives just because, you know, I'm a driver and they they kind of like press onto your leg and that's uncomfortable most of the time or wherever they are, it's just usually uncomfortable. These are always a little bit or a, a lot better. So that's my personal preference in knives. So um, uh, yeah, that's the Scout Carry knife. Now, I know I just said two seconds ago that I really only carry uh, Scott carry knives but I also always carry this this is an M-Tech knife now the reason I carry this is because I got it for free I got this in the mail I ordered from uh, Diesel Brothers and this came with an order and believe it or not I'm gonna do a review on this knife but believe it or not this knife is surprisingly sharp I mean I think this is a ten dollar knife uh, you know, it normally retails for like $10, you know, it's got, now this, uh, can opener is awful. This hardly works at all, but, you know, it's got the teeth and then it's got just a regular blade and I mean, it, it is sharp. It is really sharp and precise. It's a little bit rough. It's not completely smooth. I don't know if I can get kind of tell if you look at those teeth right there, that it's not smoothed out. So the, you know, the quality is not perfect uh, it is made in China it's just a little Chinese knife but it's a pretty good $10 Chinese knife for sure and it hadn't given me any issues and falling out of my pocket this little clip is solid so I do like that I do carry that every day as well moving on I still have my little compass paracord thing that I made it's a lot darker since the last video it's all sweat and debris and whatever else is out in the world but it I mean it's still about as accurate as it ever was and uh, yeah part of my EDC uh, this is a uh, bison 
a little bison bracelet I got in Dodge City, Kansas. I only got it just because it was kind of cool. Serves absolutely no function whatsoever. I just thought it was a cool thing to have. So, I mean, it's EDC. I carry it on my wrist every day. <laughs> Still sporting the spies. Got my spies here. Dale Earnhardt spies. The Admiral. I also have some Ray-Bans that I usually carry in my truck too. So, I have two pairs of backups because I cannot go without sunglasses. Still rocking this Uzi pin here with the uh, window breaker. Uh, this comes with replaceable uh, little ink cartridges. I have like a pack of them. They last about six months. They're pretty good in any weather. I think I brought that up last time. They're good in cold climates, warm climates, whatever. Some pens have issues in cold climates. You try to write with them, if it's too cold, it's like dry, nothing writes, you're scratching the paper. This doesn't really have that issue. Well, the particular ink cartridges that it comes with uh, don't have that issue. So I really like this pen. Everyone gives me compliments on it when I have them sign with it. So this is a really cool pen. And there's lots of other uh, tactical pens out there that I'm, I'm looking at and uh, might change this up a bit. But for right now, I really do like this pen. Another new thing I carry is this Anarchy Beard Comb. Uh, I don't use it that often. It's a multi-tool too. It's got, you know, beer openers or bottle openers, like a little screwdriver there, which is a real a pain to get back in once you get this thing out trying to trying to get these little rubber bands to uh, get back into their place is not that easy to do uh, once you take it out. So I typically don't mess with it. I have a screwdriver in my car or my truck. Um, the beard comb function is is decent. <laughs> it's not the best but you know it looks cool but no it does work so I do use it also sporting still sporting the G-Shock watch gonna get another one of these soon I love these things are they hold up really well I did a review on it so if you want you can check that out as well and as you guys know I'm always smoking a cigar so doing that I have to carry a a nice lighter. This is a natural flame Zycar lighter. Zycar is uh, pretty much the Rolls Royce of lighters and butane and everything like that. So uh, cutters as well. But I usually carry this lighter. I've had this lighter forever and I, I kind of want to start carrying a cheaper lighter because I really like this one. It's worked for years and uh, I don't want to lose it. So I'm actually probably just gonna have a Bic or one of those Zippos I have on me. Um, the Zippo in the leather case I don't carry as much anymore because that little strap would just come off too much and it made it too much of a pain so I've been carrying this a lot more but I uh, I do have Zycar torches in my truck so I might not carry this as much but I love this little lighter so quality butane in this and okay in my last EDC video I showed you the wallet the, the wallet the wallet that I had I think it was a Travax or whatever that thing's called. Um, it's cool. It it really, you know, it's a pare down kind of wallet, but let's face it, I carry way too much stuff in my wallet to use that. So, got me another bad motherfucker wallet. Now, this isn't, isn't quite as nice as my original bad motherfucker wallet, but uh, yeah, I need a wallet that can actually carry things. Alright guys, so lastly, this isn't really an EDC thing, it's not something you carry, it's not affixed to your body in any way, but I'm going to show you because it is 98 degrees here, it's hot as hell every day, and I, you're an idiot if you go long distances without something, you can drink. Now, this is a Bucky's Arctic, right, because Yeti's getting so much shit nowadays, boo Yeti, so... This is made by Arctic. Uh, Arctic, as far as I know, only has one retail, or only distributes to one retail store, and that's Bucky's. If you don't know what Bucky's is, because you're probably because you're not from Texas, these things are popping up all over Texas. I know they're going to other states as well. I think they started in Texas, and as of right now, I think all of them are in Texas. 
and Arctic is a company out of Houston and I think like I said Bucky's is their only actual retail or they only distribute to Bucky's so I picked one of these up because I'm like I said before I'm a driver and I stop at Bucky's all the time when I get a chance it's the Walmart of uh, gas stations and I mean that in a good way I mean that in the fact that it's huge so and also this is a 40 ounce uh, 40 ounce tumbler not a 30 ounce and as far as I know I don't think Yeti even has a 40 ounce tumbler so I mean look at that it carries a lot so all right guys so that's just an updated video on my EDC uh, what I carry from every day where I go I will probably at some point post a video of my truck as I'm putting in all kinds of stuff in it all the time but until then